Let's move on to some other movers. Shares of Foot Locker rising this morning, up about 7% after reporting strong fourth quarter results, but weaker than expected guidance. And the company is also unveiling its plan to expand its sneaker line and relaunch uh, its core brand. This is at its investor day that it is holding um, at the same time that it is coming out with some of these numbers here. So on the, you know, sort of a mixed picture financially, like comparable sales for the year, it says are going to fall three and a half to five and a half percent. That's not great, even after those fourth quarter results beat estimates. But I know you're digging into the company's new plan. Yeah, yeah, this lace-up plan that they're calling it. And uh, yeah, that, that's great until we all have self-lacing shoes, I guess. I, I guess it still applies. But at the, at the end of the day, a uh, few things to jump out of me from this new strategic uh, business initiative, as they call it, the lace-up plan. Um, they're going to be looking to, and I'm, I'm glad we got this on screen for our viewers as well here, awesome job by our team, expanding sneaker culture. One of them, they're looking to serve more sneaker occasions, provide more choice, um, and they want to push more distinction as well. So we'll get a little bit more clarity on what that greater distinction may look like. Also, the portfolio, powering up the portfolio you're seeing there, they're going to try and relaunch the Foot Locker brand within this pillar of the plan. They're going to transform the company's real estate footprint, open some new formats too. And this is particularly interesting to me because what if you did see a more condensed type of Foot Locker footprint out there because this could mean shifting off mall as they've talked about they're going to also close some underperforming stores that should be music to some investors ears out there as well especially getting rid of some of the unprofitable locations within their uh, for portfolio as well and then the relationship with the customers as well just to kind of bring this all omnichannel and, and the relationship with customers that they're seeing there on the screen the loyalty program loyalty programs have done especially well for companies like nike a company that is looking to go and has gone more direct to consumer mm -hmm. that impacts a company like Foot Locker and I think if Foot Locker can layer on that loyalty program or at least ramp it up even more I know I'm within that program they got my email address so I guess mm -hmm. I'm a loyalty program member um, that's going to be a part of it as well and really just give them more of the optionality around the sneakers or footwear that they're they're buying but then also just upsell even more so yeah. um, getting kind of a taste profile of each of those customers. Well, and given, as you mentioned, that Nike has been doing more direct selling, its relationship with Foot Locker yeah. does not seem as ironclad as it once was. And so I wonder if that's something they're going to be addressing more directly at that investor day. Yeah. That sort of elephant in the room of the Nike relationship should be interesting. Yeah, absolutely.